Hey everyone, welcome to Happy Cancer Tarot Channel. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, Cancers, let's in this reading, we're going to look at uh, your present energy, what is challenging you, what happened in the past, and what is going to happen for you in the near future, as well as what's coming your way that you don't see coming. I'm going to also do the same thing for the person that is on your mind, okay? I'm gonna look at their present energy, what was going on in the past for them, what's coming up in the near future, what's challenging them, and what's coming their way that they don't see. All right, so let's go ahead, let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> Cancer's present energy. All right, your present energy is a cherry in reverse. Now, the person on your mind, present energy. Six of Pentacles. All right, so you're not budging, Cancers, with the cherry in reverse. There's no forward movement. As a matter of fact, it's a halt. It's a stop. There's um, a refusal. There's a refusal to move forward. There's a refusal to do anything. And on the person as it comes to the person on your mind they're actually in the giving mood so whoever this person is they feel like they need to give something to you rather it's an apology or do something rather it's to have a conversation with you but they are feeling giving right now and i feel like that giving energy has to do with you but not it's not just limited to you because i'm getting here energy of this person helping people out I feel like they help someone out. They're coming in as like a giving energy. So, cause it's multiples, it's multiples, right? So it's not just you. And we're seeing here two people, one person giving, but there's two people here. So you are one of those people that they feel they need to give to, but there's someone or something else that they're also having to give to. Whether it's helping someone, paying some bills. I feel like it's all of that for them too. Helping someone and paying some bills. They could be paying someone's bill for them. But either way, giving for them, they're actually doing something. Whereas you on the other end, you're not really doing anything when it comes to um, them or whatever. Let's clarify the chariot. The her so even though you're not, you got major cards coming up. Even though you're not doing anything. Some of you really may not even really be doing anything in general, though. Like, I mean, you may be feeling a little bit bored or you may be feeling like um, antsy because nothing is really happening in your life because the hermit card is coming through in reverse. And, and so did the chariot come through in reverse. So it's like you may, even though nothing is happening and you're not doing anything, I don't feel like that's what you want. I actually feel like even like it's not moving. You may have felt like, well, I'm not going to do anything, especially when it comes to this person. But remember I said, even in life, I feel like you want to get out. I feel like things have been stagnant, especially social-wise. I just feel like you want something more. You want to be more out there. You don't want to be um, a recluse. You don't want to be antisocial. You're actually wanting to get out. Tell me about Cancer's present energy. And I'm getting here lusting and admiring. There is something that you are, see, there is something you're definitely desiring. There is definitely a desire, especially for this person. You are lusting and desiring this person. I feel like this may be someone that's like eye candy to you. You may see them as eye candy or you may fantasize about them. Hmm. You really, I feel like you really have like this um, strong energy towards them that you're definitely not showing. Yo, oh, oh. Cancer, you are thirsty for somebody. Cancer, you, I told you, you want to get out, but you're not going to let them know and you're not going to make a move. You're like, I'm not budging, even though you want it. That's the thing. It's like, I'm not moving. I'm not making a move. Even though you want, you want them. You're thirsty for them. You're lusting for them and you're desiring this person. Okay, Cancers, I see y'all. Over there acting like you don't want it when really you do. <laughs> All right, tell me about this other person over here. We got, oh, look at here. And we got the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a very giving person. I like them. 
I'm liking this energy over here with this person. I'm getting here like a really good, giving, generous person. See, even right here at the Page of Pentacles, I also feel like there's something that they're they're paying for when it comes to a home. So I don't know if they're having to like pay their bills or they're paying someone else's bills. It feels like a need to give in order to have a fresh start. So it's like I need to clean up my bills. I need to get my bills in order for some of them because I'm yeah, the forest source. So they may be taking a break. Okay, they may be, you may feel distance between the two of you, but it's not because they don't want to. It's like this person is having to do some things. They're having to shell out some money in order to have a new beginning with you. Everything that they're giving is because of this two of cups. It's because of this. They want this two of cups with you. So it's like, let me take a moment. Let me pause. Let me get some things in order. Let me pay off this bill. Let me, you know, take care of, you know, this um, house situation or help that person over there. It's like they're busy doing something as it pertains to money. They're having to spend money on some things. Okay. Let's get some um, oracles for them and their present energy. All right. So um, there is some hesitation with coming towards you. They're not sure how you want how you're going to react because they do want to come towards you and you want them to come towards you, but they're hesitant in doing so because they're they're a little bit unsure of your energy and how you may feel if they were to come towards you. Yeah, they want your attention. They want your attention. And this is someone that's very attractive. And see, listen listen to this. They get attention from other people. Okay, we got here beauty dating queen opportunities. They have opportunities, dates. Didn't I say attractive? Because you were lusting for this person. So they have other people that vies for their attention, but they want your attention. So that's what I was seeing with that lust thing. Like this is someone that you find very attractive, and so do other people. I mean, this person is not hard up for dates. They have options. They have opportunities, right? But it's you whose attention that they want. I feel like this person did something to get your attention. I feel like they did something. And I don't and it says here attention whore. So I feel like they did something to get your attention in a way that probably wasn't that good. Yeah, see, I told you money. Here it is. Yep. Let's let me clarify this attention. But we're looking at the present energy, so it's coming back up now. But I feel like something happened where, yep, see, playing games. Yeah, playing games. I feel like they did something, because it's on their mind right now, okay? Yep, twin flame. See, I'm looking at the present energy, though. It's on their mind. They're thinking about, as they're taking a break, they're thinking about how they did something to get your attention in a not-so-good way. And that's where that hesitation to reach out to you because they're not sure how you're going to react because of what they did to get your attention. It was something that was done and I feel like you didn't like it, which is why you're like, I'm not budging. I'm not moving. Even though I want you, even though I'm interested in talking to you because you had some time where the two of you were not talking, you're not speaking. Now you're ready to talk and speak to them. But... They want to, they want your attention, but I feel like they did something in a way that wasn't the greatest to get your attention. I feel like this person looks at their money also. They're checking their money, their bank account. Like there's something about um, feeling like they don't have enough because of all the giving that they have to do. All right, let's see. Let's see what's challenging you. What is challenging cancers? The, the stress is what's challenging you fear up at night some of you may not be able to sleep some of you may be even having like bad dreams you may be dealing with insomnia or having trouble sleeping right but i feel like this what's challenging you right now is your thinking and the stress that your thinking is bringing that's your challenge stress around what you're thinking clarify this nine of swords i want to know more about the thinking that's stressing you out 
but it's, it's it hasn't happened it's the possibility of something happening that's stressing you out and that's an opportunity a serious opportunity you see, because look, you got trust issues over here. You've been burnt. You've been hurt before. You've been wounded. So what's challenging you is that you're thinking something stressful about a serious opportunity. Hmm. I wonder, let me see more. And this is something serious. Tell me about this opportunity that's stressing cancers out. Heartbroken, cold-hearted. An opportunity for heartbreak is stressing you out because this is something serious. That's why this, how you feel is serious about them. How they feel about you is serious. So I feel like what's stressing you out is that this is something serious and it's op it opens the door for heartbreak. It opens the door for a cold heart. Because I feel like your heart has been frozen for so long. And then the possibility of opening it up again could scare you. I want to know more about Cancer's Challenge. Self-medicating. Yeah. Look, see, you're used to yourself. See, so you used to taking care of yourself. You used to so soothing yourself. You know, you're used to here. Look, withholding, shy, limited potential, staying in. Remember, I told you with the hermit, staying in, but you really don't want to, not going anywhere. See, this puts you out. You're used to being inside, or at least you're used to keeping your heart on lockdown. But then here comes the opportunity of your heart being wide open. And this wallflower is not used to that. She's used to herself. She's used to medicating herself, taking care of herself, soothing herself. Any issues this wallflower has in life, she has herself to rely on. Now, here's the possibility of someone else coming in. Serious at that? That's stressing you out. Because you're going to have to take this glass off this flower and allow it to bloom. Open your heart up. Allow this connection to grow. You even may act shy too around this person. It says shy, limited potential, withholding. It may also stress you out because you may feel that you don't have the potential for this. Maybe you feel like you're not worthy of it or you don't know what you what, what to do with something like this because again, this is not something that you're used to. Someone that's serious. That what stresses you out is the start of something serious. This actually being the real deal. So you may be feeling conflicted. Well, on one hand, you're thirsty and you're lusting and desiring this person. But then on the other hand, the opportunity of this being something serious and the possibility of getting your heart broken, I feel like scares you. But also the fact that some of you have not had something serious in such a long time and now coming out of that scares you so you may want to take off you got here travel coming in twice three oh look at this travel traveling to see you travel leap of faith y'all three times there's something significant about the number three however we're seeing this three times where are you going? I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to I'm going to look into that, but I want to finish up what I promised you guys in this reading. That came through 3 times. I'm going to finish it up and look what was next. Leap of faith. All right, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to you know I'm going to delve into that, but let me finish. Um so we know what's challenging you. Let's see what's challenging this person. We got here, taking a risk is what's challenging them. Taking a risk and being happy is challenging them? Hmm, that's interesting. A new chapter going for it and being happy. Because you know why? This person feels young to me. We got Leo on the board though. But this person is really feeling young. 
there's something more I'm seeing here the death card transformation this comes with change taking the risk at being happy is going to come with some sort of change for them that's what's challenging them and I feel like because I'm feeling a young energy there could also let me see there's something about this there's a young energy with this person I need to see more around what's challenging them spirit tell me more around what's challenging this person transitional yeah competition short term let's see because they may be used to short term or they may be used to relationships without any depth because that's probably why that young energy is coming in because relationships never mature now keep in mind this could be in this could see it says fast lane this could be someone that could be, let's just say, for example, they were in a relationship for five years. Just because they were in a relationship for five years, it doesn't mean that it was a quality relationship. I feel like they may even rush into relationships at times with this fast lane without really getting to know the person. So just like this being serious for you, challenging you, it seems like the same thing for them. Relationships, this person is not used to any serious relationships with depth. And so, the, and I feel like in order to have that with you, something serious with death, they have to take a risk and they have to change with that death card. There are some ways about them that need to end. And there's some growing up. This person has to grow up to be with you. They have to be mature. The sun card is a masculine energy. It's a powerful energy too. And even right here with this child coming through, that young baby energy, this person has to grow up. Tell me more about what's challenging them and put an end to their old ways. So going for it and changing is challenging them. And see, but look, see, look, what, look, love struck, intense feelings is challenging them. Being in love with you is challenging them. Head over heels, devoted is challenging them. The same thing that's challenging them, I also feel like it's what's motivating them too. Because we saw at the top of the reading, what were they doing? Getting their life in order and thinking about what they did to try to get your attention. That led to you walking away. What's challenging them? You walking away. Abandonment. Leaving. Moving on. You not having any interest in them is what's challenging them. And it's challenging them because they're love struck by you. This love is not going anywhere for them. But they know that there are certain ways about them, certain immature ways about themselves that needs to grow up and mature. And I'm seeing them definitely growing up at some point. But I feel like, you know, just approaching you, and we saw that right here, approaching you and giving you this cup is challenging them. But we're going from page to night. Yeah, because they feel like you're going to reject it. All right, what happened here in the past with cancers? And then I'm going to see what happened in the past for them. So there was some sort of victory for you in the past, and they were holding back. This person really did not think that you were interested in them. Who, who, they were holding back because they felt like you weren't interested in them, and they were mad. This person was actually mad. I'm seeing here being begrudged, being stubborn, being irritated. Like they were irritated and they were holding back because you were successful. You were winning. And they felt like you didn't, you were not interested in them. See, because they were sitting on the sidelines. They were sitting on the sidelines watching you win or watching you just, you know, and whether you were winning or not, this is just illustrating you going on about your day-to-day -day life, okay? Them feeling like you weren't interested in them all while they were interested in you. So even though in the past, nothing was happening between the two of you, their energy was like resistant. Their energy was irritated because they felt like you didn't care. And I feel like they were bothered by it. Oh, we got the King of Pentacles in the past, too. That's interesting. Present page, the past. This person, there's something about... Um, hmm. Let me see. There's something about... It's interesting that the King of Pentacles came in in the past position. 
I feel like, remember, this person was holding back. It, they were not the king of pentacles. That's why they were holding back. Because they're coming in and present as the page. This person felt like you needed a king. And they didn't have that. You needed someone that was stable, someone that was financially secure, someone that was more um, grounded, someone that was traditional, someone that was ready, someone that was older, someone that was mature. That's also why they were holding back. And they were mad. They were mad that they were love struck for you and they couldn't move on from those feelings, even though they felt like they were not worthy of you. They saw you as successful and there was some, and they even saw you as being stuck up. They felt like you were snooty or you you had your you had a lot of ego. And so I feel like again holding a grudge and being mad because they felt like you wouldn't give them a chance. And they could have felt mad at you about that too. But also mad at themselves. But in the past I'm seeing you um Yeah, I feel like that's what was going on. You were on some sort of like <laughs> I feel like you were definitely, um, I feel like you were kind of up there. I'm going to leave it at that. You were up there, whatever that may be for you. Um, we got here. Yeah. Okay, and it's not, Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So we got the devil coming in. So yeah, you were up there, but I feel like you were up there because you were going through some sort of spiritual attack. All right. So it wasn't like, and what I mean by up there, like, it's kind of like, Oh, I don't know how to describe it. Mm. I don't know how to describe it, Cancers. I, I think the best way to describe it is to... I'm going to use one of these cards to describe it for you. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, egotistical. <laughs> Listen, do not shoot the messenger, okay? But <laughs> y'all know I love y'all to pieces. It says here, excessive self-focus, shallow traits, hobby, inconsiderate, arrogant, or narcissistic. Now, I don't think you were being narcissistic, but we do got the devil coming through. I do feel as though you were self-focused, and that's not a bad thing. I feel like you were self-focused because of something toxic that was going on in your life, some sort of spiritual attack that some of you could have been experiencing. So it's kind of like an energy of, I don't have time for anything else. And also, you could have saw them as that page, and you probably were like, I don't have time for a page. And it wasn't personal. You just, I feel like you were up there because you had a lot of things going on with this devil sitting over here. And here with this high priestess, something spiritual. I feel like under spiritual attack, I feel like uh, some sort. Some of you it could have been an addiction, but it was something unhealthy, something toxic that was going on. But let's see. Tell me more about um, cancers being up there. Unhealthy, yeah. See, something unhealthy was going on. Some of you could have been dealing with health challenges. It says tend to ignore health problems or self-care, self-neglect, neglect and body, mind and spirit. See, I just feel like this was, you was more so, because we saw self with the egotistical, and it says self-neglect. I feel like you were dealing with some self things, things that were going on in your life, but they were toxic. They were toxic. So you could have been doing something that was toxic. But it also could have been because of something toxic going on in your life. So either way, um, you I just feel like this person wasn't something that was like pressing you because you had your own issues in the past. See, yeah, and that's the thing, the defensive. You were defensive because of something unhealthy in your life. It says here an overprotective mentality. It was an overprotective mentality, right? That's where that, you know, that toxic trait coming in, being overprotective mentality, cautious, easily triggered, quick to protect. See, that's what I'm saying. And it, and it, it comes off like you're not interested, but you were being overly protective and it may have this person could have felt slighted by you, but you were being overly protective because you were dealing with some unhealthy, toxic, spiritual things. And for some of you, it was also some unhealthy, maybe you were dealing with health issues. Some of you could have been battling some sort of health problem that you needed help with. I just feel like you had your own battle going on. You guys know, sorry, my um, thing cut off. But you guys know I'm a rat for you. I can see both sides. You were going through something, right? So, yeah. All right, so that was going on in the past, the near future for cancers. This, 
the nine of pentacles what's the near future for this person um the will of fortune oh they're going to come into some fortune their luck is going to change what's interesting is that the nine of cups is coming in for them in the near future these are and look then we got here lovers so hmm Tell me about you. The near future shows single, independent, self-sufficient, stable. Money could be looking good, taking care of yourself, focusing on you, feeling better. You're going to be feeling better than you did in the past. Oh. Um, hold on here. How you, hold on. Give me another card with this energy. Cancers. Something something is about to start in the near future. There's going to be something that starts. You see how she got this Queen of Pentacles? And look, here's this Page of Pentacles. This page gives this Queen a Queen with a page. This page gives this Queen this coin. And she's thinking about it. This coin symbolizes going from single to in, into something serious. But she's thinking about it. Their fortune changing, getting their wish fulfillment. That being you. They feel proud of themselves. They feel proud of themselves for two things. Because you're you're take you're thinking about taking this pentacle for them, whatever it is that they're giving you. But I want to say something has changed because the king of pentacles is still sitting here, even though it showed up in the past. But it showed up in the past because they weren't there yet. Not that they didn't have the potential. They just weren't there yet. I feel like with it sitting here, how this is laid out, because I read based off of how it's also laid out for me, I feel like this person wish fulfillment is you and being this king. Because their fortune changes. And they reach out to you. I want to know, <clears throat> tell me how their fortune changes. Because whatever it is, it's what they want. It's something good for them. Tell me about the near future with their fortune changes. That's going to be good for them. You, 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 the queen of cups. <laughs> you, that's, that's, I told you. See, you taking their cup. This person got, there's more to be revealed. You see that little, um, this veil right here. They've, ac they've accomplished some things. Something shifts in their life. And they're now able to give you this cup and this pentacle. You is what they really want. Tell me more about how this person's fortune changes. It changes with you. Cancers, your money is going to look real good in the near future. If you're having money issues, I'm seeing your money looks look real good. Some of you, um, you may have to spend some money to make money. You may start some sort of, some of you may start some sort of business. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's going to do good for you. We got here the five of swords coming in. Now, what are they doing over here with that? Because it looks like they sabotaged it at one point. It felt defeated, but here's their wish coming true. Because they made some sort of plan. I feel like they turned some people down. I, you know what this person did? I feel like the reason why they're getting their wish come true. Yeah, because they worked on manifesting you. They turned some people down. There are some people that they ended it with. And they didn't care if they hurt their feelings. Because I saw the devil card with that five of swords also. There were some people, and then we saw here, yep, the death card, having to end things to, in order to be happy. That's what they did. They, they stood up for themselves. And that's why they're happy, because they ended some things. And they were, because I feel like they were tiptoeing around some people that they needed to stand up to. And they did it. And that's how they're bringing you in. There go that son. Because they wanted to be happy. Where is that son? See? Here go that son. Here goes that son. They manifested their happiness, which is you. Okay. Tell me about cancers in this nine of pentacles to queen of pentacles. The ten of swords is coming in. All right. So here it is. I'm seeing here getting some sort of uh, information, cancers. But there's going to be some sort of, but it's going to be fine. 
everything is fine. I feel like you're gonna get some sort of information, but they're telling you it's fine. Maybe it's like some sort of like news around money. Cause I'm seeing here with this moon card, there's something going on secretly. There is something that was secretly going on. And I feel like when you find out this news, you're going to feel betrayed. But for some reason, whatever it is, it seems like your money is going to go up because of it. That's what I find really interesting. So whatever was done in the dark with this moon, like don't have any fear around it because I'm, everything is going to be fine for you. And I feel like as a result of whatever was done because this this has two people right here so that could have been someone that did something to you in the workplace did something to you financially but the truth is going to come out you're going to get some information around that and i'm telling you like your money is going to go up as a result of it so that's what's happening for you in the near future yeah see over it See, I feel like you're so over some sort of work situation, some sort of money situation. And see, there's the phone right there. I feel like someone... Yeah, I feel like someone did something. Yeah, and look, regret it. And will regret it. They're going to regret it. Because it's, I'm telling you, it's not going to affect you. It's actually going to affect them. And we got, yep, see the Ace of Wands is coming in. Something getting sparked. This is like some sort of fire. There could have been some sort of conflict. Like someone did something. Let me see. Yeah, and I feel like you don't have the strength to even deal with it. Whatever it is, you don't have the strength to deal with it. Let me see. I want to get some more insight around it because it seems a little complicated. I'm, my time is running out. I don't want to go too far into it. Uh, let me see. What, what's going on with Cancer's near future? See, a smart woman. Knowledge. And look, see? Be gone. I told you. Look at that. See, there's something around someone in the like work field. And I feel like something is going to get sparked with you and this person. And I feel like this is something that you're just so over. You're so done. But someone's starting something up with you. They're going to do something. And I feel like, like I said, you're going to get some information. But everything is going to be fine. If anything, it's going to be a blessing for you. It's going to be a blessing. Yeah, see, anxious woman. So, see, you got a smart woman, and then you got an anxious woman. See, they're going, they're concerned about what's going to happen to them now that they've been exposed. They, see, I told you, work, healthy work environment, progress for you. That's why. I, that's what I was telling you. It's going to be okay. It's actually going to be good for you. Look, gossip, talking about you unloyal so you may find out someone was being unloyal someone was gossiping about you someone was trying to get you fired or someone was messing with your job messing with your money but you're smart you're going to move on to something better you're going to get a promotion they won't they won't see and they're going to be mad about it too all right so let's see what is coming your way that you don't see coming. And then we'll see what's coming this other person's way. What is coming Cancer's way that they don't see coming? What is coming Cancer's way they don't see coming? It says here, a love interest is taking advantage of your kind nature. Their ingenuity will cause you distress. Tell me about what's coming this person's way that they don't see coming. Um, you will, ooh, it says for them, they will soon spend more time with the person they have been wanting to most. They will soon spend time with the person they have been wanting to most. So what I'm seeing here, now remember we were talking about the travel. We got travel, flight, and then we got here someone traveling to see you. 
right here in the cart and then we got here travel again so what I'm, remember I wanted to look into that but I wanted to get through the whole reading before I um, talked about that traveling but I'm seeing it connect over here to what's coming your way that you don't see coming I feel like someone is coming to see you and you don't see that coming and I feel like this is someone that's going to try to take advantage of you let's clarify what is um who is this love interest that's going to try to take advantage of cancers and cause them distress? So, okay, so whoever this person is, they um, there's neglect here, an absent father. So they may have father issues, or this is also could be someone that isn't a great father. They may have issues with their own kids, okay? What else can you tell me about this love interest? We got money trees is coming in wise investment why what's what's connecting them with money why is that significant spirit why why is money significant for this person change environment hmm and then we got here new person feeling powerless and stuck it's about you this is about you someone is watching this person is coming in taking advantage of you they see that your environment has changed or it will be changing because we talked about how things are going to get better for you you're about to be entering into a healthy work environment you have someone new on your arms right money doing good like i told you making wise investment this person feels powerless oh look you know why because they try to stop you this is why they're showing up because there was a covenant. There was a covenant. There was an attack. Remember we talked about a spiritual attack. That's what was happening. And this person was doing it or they were part of the, of what was going on for some of you it could have been three people, but nevertheless, this person was doing something to keep you stuck and powerless because they felt that way with you, but they see that you're now doing better. Your environment has changed. You're with a new person. And I feel like they're feeling some kind of way. Or they will feel some kind of way when this happens. Look, see, and I feel like clueless. I feel like you were clueless to some sort of spiritual attack from this person. Not that you were clueless about the attack. Intuitively, you felt it with the high priestess. But you were clueless to who, some of you were clueless to who was actually doing it. They were trying to affect your money. They were trying to stop you and this person from coming together. What was to keep you stuck, to keep you powerless? They were trying to hold you back with a covenant, working with a covenant. That's why it says they were taking advantage of your kind nature. This person did not know how strong you really were. This person didn't know it. They couldn't hold you back. And we got, see, they, they were trying to, they were causing your toxic work environment. This could have been someone that was working with you, taking advantage of your kind ingenuity, your kind nature, people at work. It doesn't have to just be a love interest. This is just showing up for what you were going through. But I feel like this person could have been causing this work, um, toxic work environment through the covenant that they were doing. They were causing it. Because see, look at here. Time after time. They could have kept doing it to keep you stuck. They were responsible for your money issues. Responsible for your toxic work environment. Because they were working with the covenant. Responsible for the distance between you and this other person. They were trying to stop you from moving on with a new person. Smile now, cry later. Just see, see, they were smiling. They thought it was funny. They thought it was all good when they were doing what they were doing to you. Now, justice. Look, they're going to have to be by themselves because justice is taking place. See, your environment is changing for the better. You're going from toxic work environment to a healthy one. Your environment around your money is going from... That nine of pentacles where it was just you by yourself having to do everything by yourself to being that queen of pentacles, making wise investments and working with this new person, connecting with this new person. Because we saw what's coming their way is they want to spend more time with you and you too will. Anything else? 
so that's that one traveling because we got yeah because see look why your ancestors has been protecting you guarding you from this snake they've been guarding you because this person did not want to see you succeed or win boss and then we got here a jezebel energy a lady of the night there is more than just one for some of you, there was more than just one. You're going to have an opportunity to take some time to take care of yourself. Because you you have been through it. You have been through it. Okay? So, we got them traveling to see you. What's going to happen? Like, why are they trying to come your way? Or will they even be able to? Look at here. Evil eye. In, to stalk you. To stalk you. Watching you. Evil eye. But your environment is about to change anyway. And you have a guardian. Yep, they are coming. They look, they want to be nosy. Snooping around. Stalker. But you have a guardian that's protecting you from this person. And it feels like it's, it could be two of them. I keep getting here two. Two. A, one stalker here. It's the person you, don't, you least expect. And then there's someone you may be aware of that's also snooping around. Both of them sending you the evil eye. Now, I'm not going to... um say that this is going to come with some sort of ease but remember i said don't don't stress out too much over it because you're going to come out on top of this situation all right because it looks like you may even go away travel you may go on vacation you and someone else that's why it's coming in twice so you got this other person traveling in to see you to stalk you sending you this evil eye watching you in the shadows and I'm seeing here taking a trip, getting on a plane, going somewhere. Because why? You will soon spend more time with the person you have been wanting to most. They want to spend more time with you. And I feel like that's going to take place because the both of you are going to travel and go somewhere together. What can you tell me about this travel? See, for rent, you're going to move. You're going to move because you don't want this person even knowing where you live. You're going to move. The both of you moving together all right i gotta go my battery's blinking my time is up bye y'all